Let's say that we have a similar circuit to the one that we talked about before. Let's say that we have a similar circuit to the one that we had before. And after doing some previous calculations on this circuit, we were able to determine that this circuit had a current flowing through it, had a current flowing through it equal to 0 0.5008125 amps. Let's just say that we had experienced a circuit like that in the past. Okay? Let's say that this circuit is left on for a total of 10 minutes. Somebody turns the light switch on. Oh, let's make it nice, lots of nice significant figures actually. 10.00 minutes. Somebody leaves light switch on for 10 minutes. Oh, awesome. And I would like to figure out how many charges go through my light bulb in 10 minutes. Now I could try and do some calculations using an ammeter to get this, or do some measurements using an ammeter to get this value. I could also use a stopwatch to measure this value. So these are measurables. These are things I can measure in the lab. And I'd like to calculate how many charges pass through this light bulb in that amount of time. Do you think we could do that? Do we have the tools? I think so, yeah. We got I equals Q over delta T. And if I want to know how many Qs went through this, this wire in the time we have delta T because of the current flow rate I, no problem. Q equals I times delta T. Okay? We can actually count how many electrons must have gone through. So remember, current is in amps, but that's really coulombs per second. So I could say 0 0.5008125 coulombs per second times, and now I'm tempted to just put in a 10. But what should I have done already? Convert it into, from minutes to seconds, yeah. So I'm going to put that in red just so that we don't ever forget. Never forget. Has to be converted into standard units, okay? So international standard units means that our time have to be, in, or tell us that our time has to be in seconds. How do I get minutes into seconds? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So 10 minutes times 60 se seconds per minute. The minutes cancel out, and I'm left with how many seconds? You, can you do that in your head? 600. 600. Yeah. 600. 600 seconds. So times 600 seconds. Guys, can you talk, stop the whisper, whispering in the back? All right. So how many charges, or sorry, how many coulombs of charge go through this thing in 600 seconds? 300.487. 300. Point four eight is it seven five? Yeah. Okay, that's what I had written. Now, I just want to make sure I didn't make a mistake in my pre-calculations. Uh, coulombs. And if we want to round that off to, uh, I guess this this uh, amperage that we we calculated it previously, but if this was a, a pure measurement, we could say we got to round it off to four sig figs, because this is our calculated value now. So three hundred point five coulombs of charge passed through this load, and in this case the load is a light bulb. Now that could be one thing that we could pursue. But now that we know how many coulombs of charge went through this light bulb, could we then go and calculate how many electrons that represents? We came up with a formula for it. Our formula we came up with was Q equals NE, where E has the value of 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Do you remember that? Okay. Is it electrons per coulomb, or sorry, charges per coulomb, or coulombs per charge? Coulombs per charge. Coulombs per charge. Okay. So we're just going to say coulombs per charge, and we're going to do some isolation. We now know now we know the Q value. We want to know the N value. So we could say, all right, well that means that N is going to be equal to Q over E or n equals 300, well let's put in the unrounded value, 300.4875 coulombs divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs per
per elementary charge. And of course, the, the units on the bottom are going to invert when we divide by. But what's 300.4875 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19? And now keep in mind, when you put this in your calculator, you must, 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 must put that bottom value in brackets because your calculator is not smart enough to know, to know what you intend. You have to teach it the bed mess, OK? Yep. 1.878 times 10 to the 21. 1.87, is it 878? Yes. Times 10 to the power of 21 charges. Okay, so we know how many electrons. Now that's a big number. Times 10 to the power of 21. That's a lot of electrons. But hey, that's life. There's a lot of charges out there. 